Hello, welcome to another episode of the Artist of Floating World. Now, this is a book that most teachers fear, some students too cannot even think about talking about it. Why? It's because of the setting. The book is uh, on Japan and war. Nobody likes war anyway. And that is why today I'm bringing you some few questions on an artist of the floating world. Now, one of the questions that you expect in uh, an artist of the floating world is uh, war has irreversible effects that one can hardly do away with. Using a floating, an artist of the floating world, show how the author brings out this reality. Now, when you look at this question, you are uh, ideally look, uh, going through war uh, in the three sections that the text has really covered a lot on that. Now, an artist of the floating world exposes a number of effects of war. Some of these effects include physical destruction, we have disillusionment, physical changes in the people, and losses of lives. Now, um, if you're covering the aspect that I've just mentioned, then you have to go ahead and uh, get uh, evidence of rather what we call the background information. Now, um, when you look at war as what destroys the hope of many people in the novel and the results um, uh, of it is the quick aging, you can look at Ono. Ono says that Miss Kawakami had lost in war and she had greatly aged because she seems broken and sad. His business too has become increasingly difficult for her that she was considering to close it up and uh, um, you know we had a lot of competitors now check on page 21 for that and you will see more details Ono also reports um, that um, when we look at Miss Kawakami's business her bar is deserted it is demolished also it's just rubble and we have broken bricks now, we, when you look at such things in any country where there is war, you realize that uh, the f effect of war is great. Now, Ms. Kawakami has to uh, put mosquito um, wiring on her windows so that she can actually have her business running. So if you check on page 25, you will see that. Ono sees uh, how Kuroda has also been affected by the war. He has hollowed out and... Uh, uh, there is a heavy line on his chin. That is, a, a, those are signs of aging, and Kuroda is not old, remember? So when you check page 88, you will see this. Now look at Angie. Angie reveals, too, that Kuroda was neglected by the warders uh, who failed to report when uh, his uh, shoulder was injured, and so they kept beating him all the time. That is shown on page 128 to 129. Now that is uh, the, um, actually how war destroys the hope of many people. Um, if you can look at the uh, current society, look at countries where war has been, Sudan, mention uh, Ethiopia, uh, talk about Ukraine, and many other nations where there is war. What do you see? Obviously, if you look at people who are of your age, they wouldn't look like you if you're in a country where there is peace. Now, the other aspect which I've already mentioned earlier is that war physically destroys Japan. Now, what are we talking about here? Now, look at how Ono describes his house on page one. Um, he tells us that his house was such a magnificent one. It was built, and the owner wanted it to, you know, like to... I show the prostic aspect of art. Now, after war, what happens? The house um, has received a share in the war damage. And that is why you can see the bulk of the bomb damage has been in this section of the house. And uh, as you survey with honor, you look at the garden, there was damage on the veranda, which had billowed and cracked. And uh, that is page six to seven. You realize that uh, there is a great deal of physical destruction. Ono says that uh, the Migihi Dari um, has also been affected by war, and therefore the windows have blown out, um, the part of the roof has fallen in, and the streets are full of rubble. Uh, that is physical destruction. And um, Morrison's villa 
uh, where the arts, uh, uh, arts and what have you, was uh, be conducted before war, is also destroyed during war. And uh, Ono is quite uh, annoyed that uh, war uh, led to this. Check on page 201. Now, if we go to uh, war as resulting in death, uh, we have uh, many, many examples in the book. Um, particularly, now look at uh, the many young people who are destroyed because they go to war uh, to fight as soldiers. And uh, particularly Kenji, uh, son of Ono, dies in war and um, his ashes, he did not just die alone, he died alongside other young people and we can see in his funeral when they bring the ashes and they're burying, um, the family says, okay, we know that even if this ash is mixed with other ashes, it's part of his uh, fellow soldiers. Now look at page 64 to 5. Now the war does not just end. Um, uh, you know, when they are fighting, but even after, what does it cause? You see other people uh, also dying as a result of maybe the war and what it brought to them. Um, uh, we also see that war has uh, brought um, a lot of uh, psychological and mental aspects, uh, you know, those effects to people. Now, whom do we see this aspect uh, expressed? Ono himself, he does not see the reason for living. Uh, when he attends the Miyai for the daughter, he uh, starts uh, to see uh, see if he, he does not deserve to uh, be respected or even live. And uh, it's only through um, Dr. Saito and the wife that he realizes it was not his mistake per se. We also see the psychological torture in um, uh, people who want to kill themselves after war. Like, uh, you remember uh, Taro, he worked in a company whereby the manager, um, you know, conducts suicide as an apology to the war, uh, to, the, the, to the Japan people because he participated in war. Uh, we also have young people who feel that the old are responsible for the war and therefore they must die. So it transforms. He's no longer wherever he used to be. Ono says that he used to be polite, uh, self-effacing, uh, but now he turns to be a cruel, malicious man that wishes people death, you know? Like his comments do not embrace honor, ideally. Now check that on page 64. So we can, uh, in overall, we can say that indeed war tends to destroy al almost everything, including the lives, the people, hope, and property that people have invested in. So nobody should wish for war. Uh, we should be appreciating that uh, in our own country, though, we have had some conflicts that um, have affected us, and I hope people have learned from them. Um, the second question that I would bring to you today, uh, it's, um, it's uh, on um, what? On, on uh, sacrifice and humility. Um, I met this question somewhere. Sacrifice and humility are mothers to success in art. Now, uh, using illustrations from an artist of the floating world by Ishiguro, justify this statement. Now, for those of us who have read um, an artist of the floating world, um, we see that it requires patience, resilience, and investment of time, resources, and people. For an artist to stand out just as it happens with Ono, Totois, Matsuda, among others, in An Artist of the Floating World by Ishiguro Kazuo. Now, um, if I may begin to explore these aspects, I'll tell you that um, artists experience a lot of stress and frustrations from other people in the process of making their art work. But if they overcome such moments, uh, they will possibly thrive. One of the artists who encounters a lot of stressful moments and frustrations is Tortoise. You can see from that name which they give him, uh, it's because he was quite slow. He could not, uh, you know, add up uh, like other people like Ono were really working very fast, but he was a bit slow. He could only produce two to three uh, canvases when others were producing six and seven. Imagine the difference of three and seven. The slow pace makes others really look down upon him, laugh at him. Um, you know, they want him to just be like them. You know what people are. 
they always expect you'll be exactly as they are. Now, he tries to improve, but he can't, and therefore he earns the name Tortoise. Ono turns out to save him. You know, there are people who can save you in that situation. Even if a million are against you, they will stand with you. Now, we have Ono who turns out to save his situation because he notices that Tortoise is doing his best, and he wants to try to produce that art which is uh, uh, really selling, not just finishing for the purpose of it. Now, once Master uh, Takeda leaves the room and some of the two workmates are challenging him on speed at the his easel and, uh, you know, um, making jokes about him, um, Ono says, uh, let uh, be patient with him because he produces quality anyway and he will learn speed with time. Uh, he tells them that he has really worked hard for the past weeks in speed and uh, he does not want to spoil the work. Hence, he opts to be a bit slow but work perfectly, and that is on page 76. While he pleads uh, with them, they frustrate him, but with time, Toto is makes it and survives at Takeda. Uh, the other uh, point that we can discuss here is uh, that a number of artists live in poverty, but if they sacrifice and are patient, they can make it. Look at Ono. When he was young, the father uh, had heard from a uh, you know, a wandering uh, priest that art cannot give anybody life. Artists live in squalor uh, because their work has plenty provision of weak will and depraved fellows. Uh, Ono joins uh, Takeda Farm uh, in painting and stays in a small attic room above the old woman who had uh, one married unmarried son. Uh, he finds it unsuitable to satisfy the son's needs. Hence, the house uh, lacks electricity. You know, this lady, she finds it unsuitable to satisfy the needs. And uh, there is no electricity in the house. You know, an artist can work at night. Sometimes art can make you wake up from sleep and begin working. Now, Ono has to use an oil light um, during painting, and he hardly has space to lace an easel. And uh, so, uh, that he can avoid splashing uh, the walls uh, and the tatami with paint. The attic ceiling is quite a la uh, low uh, that he cannot fully stand up. I can imagine. Uh, okay, he works in um, a full crouched position and um, for some hours, such uh, that he keeps hitting the head on the rafters. He reports that his delight is uh, at the time when uh, he accepted uh, the, the such popular farm and he earned a living. That is page 73. At daytime, he could work uh, at the studio while ceiling uh, was higher and uh, compared to his room. And uh, then it seems that whenever he got back to his room, he felt the roof had kept descending. That is page 73. The success of an artist is not easy, but Ono's life becomes better with time. Uh, the third point on which I can uh, discuss, the respect for most artists is rarely achieved. You know, the community looks at you as if you're just wasting time, you don't know what you're doing, are you crazy or something. Now, in the novel, we learn that Ono's father um, saw artists as poor, living as squalors. People were weak and deprived, and that is on page 49. Matsuda tells Ono that they were lucky to have uh, acted upon what they believed and did their utmost uh, um, part for the final times. And now they are not just ordinary men because they had special gifts and um, um, maybe their people were unfortunate, but for them they were better. Now, if you check on page 229, you will see this. Painters are seen as ordinary men compared to even the soldiers. But he believes compared to many officers, politicians, business people, and many other people carried their blame for the occurrence in Japan, but artists had always the marginal contribution. People no longer care about the contribution anyway, and what they see are the two old men with the sticks. You can see that on page 231. Setsuko believes that the father should view things differently in the picture with Splendid, because in past he did not affect the art and make life better. Uh, now uh, we see that she thinks the father was simply a painter on page 223 and that is why when he discusses with the uh, when the son comes uh, to Ichiro comes to the grandfather he asks him questions as if he did not do much 
Therefore, it means that even though art did not seem to be an asset, it came to be worth and influential in many other ways. Even when Morrison came up with the European influence uh, in the Utamaro tradition, many considered it unpatriotic in traditional view. So he conducted exhibitions with a lot of uh, hurdles. However, after a lot of struggle, he began to illustrate for a popular magazine, and that helps him maintain his income. That is on page 223. Then um, when uh, you come uh, later um, to the aspect of, uh, uh, you see, like uh, Kuroda, Kuroda was seen as if his art could not add up. Now, in the entire book, when we learn, we see that uh, the, uh, the community, or rather uh, those times, they did not consider Kuroda as worth. But later, where do we see him working? He's a lecturer in the university because through art, he can express uh, some ideas. So artists do not have the freedom to express uh, some matters because of mentorship that they lack or because of the society. And it needs you to be patient and resilient uh, to achieve what you need. Ono and Morrison have issues on how Ono needs to express his art, and this leads to their separation. When he reports to have learned a number of ideas over years and realized the fragile beauty and pleasure in the lessons, Morrison is unhappy with him. He asks Ono to give him uh, to give up on all his paintings, and that is page 207. At some point, Tortoise too seem, uh, sees the painting Ono is working on that is complacency for those who have read this book um, as a depiction of poverty and squalor in Japan's shanties as opposed to the rich businessman. And uh, he labels Ono a traitor. He asks him why he is doing such a painting behind their teacher, uh, Morrison. And uh, even when he explains that exploration is important for an artist, Toto does not understand and he avoids him at all costs. That is page 118. Later, Ono, who had seemed foolish in trying to uh, to do something that others had not done, uh, sees his destiny in this because he gets a lot of rewards. Now, he also uh, picks courage and builds uh, different arts uh, that uh, at, at later he can, um, you know, say that it's through it that he achieved. Um, Sasaki is also said to have been the best uh, pupil of Master Takeda, and once he realized that his teacher had shortcomings in his art, he diverts in his paintings and disappears. Everybody, you know, bullies as he moves out, and nobody wants to associate with him. But we are told that he took the right path. Um, so um, these are just two questions I've uh, talked about today, and um, I really welcome you teachers on board. I would. Uh, make you understand that An Artist of the Floating World is one of the easiest book uh, for the new uh, text that we have currently for the Form 3s and Form 4s. Uh, don't actually say that this book is hard until you read it and have discussions. I really wish to have uh, a panel like sitting and discussing uh, this book because uh, you uh, tell people, come, let's talk about an artist of the floating world. And they say, oh, that book, I wouldn't even read it. Students wouldn't find it friendly. But I, I tell you, it's uh, such a nice book. Just come on board and we shall enjoy reading and discussing. The aspects in these are simplistic, by the way. And uh, even though the plot seems to be nonlinear, but the ideas are simplistic and the background is quite straight. So I would uh, encourage you to tell students to read it and talk to them about the text. Um, you can take the approach of looking at a character throughout the text. You can also uh, consider talking about matters or issues in the text from the beginning to the end. And that would make you see the book as a friendly one. Um, compared to maybe the, what you may have picked short stories, The Silent Song and other short stories, when your students might mix characters here and there. But this is, is a, an, a good option for the students because I know, uh, depending on the level of students, others are very happy to handle the short stories while others the novel. Currently for me, I have students uh, like uh, uh, 50 taking this book, while the rest, about 210, taking asylum song and other short stories. And I, we are not really having uh, like a problem. They come, we discuss, 
and uh, you give them a question they try out and you find they're just sailing through uh, so let's not avoid this japanese book it's quite interesting historical but it's just wow uh, welcome on board subscribe comment share and uh, you know react this is literature that is what we are meant for bye bye until another episode